Good morning, welcome back to another vlog. I am so excited, this is gonna be a good one. So if you're new here, I moved about six weeks ago to North Carolina. I live in a one bedroom apartment, just me and my dog Benny. And this place has slowly been coming together over the last month or so. And at this point, every room is pretty much finished except for the living room. I haven't been using this room much because I haven't had a couch, but my couch is finally arriving today. And I feel like now that the couch is gonna be here, I can finally finish decorating this room as well. Obviously I have an idea of like what my taste is and what kind of vibe I was going for in this room, but I feel like the decorative pieces, I really wanted to wait until I actually saw the couch in this space. So anyway, this is what the living room looks like right now. It's pretty cold out today so I brought my plants inside these usually go out on the balcony so they're not going to be here on a regular basis I just didn't want them to freeze last night but I have this bookshelf over here from Ikea and this dresser also from Ikea I had styled these the other day so I'm gonna insert that footage here so I have this bookshelf over here from Ikea and I kind of just threw some stuff on here in the meantime but I really want to style it and make it look nicer and then up here on the dresser where my tv is this i think i'm gonna leave how it is this bowl is where i put like my keys and my dog's leash and stuff since it's right by the front door so this is very convenient and functional to have here so i'm gonna leave it there and that plant i like it on that side since i have a plant over here and there's a lot going on over there i feel like it just kind of balances it a little bit this side though I definitely want to let me close these blinds that's better I love all of these pieces and I think they look nice together but I feel like I don't know like having them placed there it's just very small and I feel like I need something a little bit taller to balance it out and it just feels like they were kind of randomly placed there which they were it doesn't feel as like intentional so I want to do something different here and I think I'm going to use these pieces on here somewhere. So I don't know, I'm just gonna like move things around and play around and see what I can come up with. Here's what I came up with so far. I think I like how this looks, but I do want to go to Target. Their home decor section is so good, and especially the Target that we have here. Amazing. A plus. Home decor is so good. So I kind of want to just take a look there and see if there's any like little knick-knacky things I think would look nice here. But that I kept the same. And then this basket is from Target. I have a bunch of games and like movies and stuff in here it just hides it in a nice way so it's like still out easy to grab but it's disguised and it just looks really pretty and then this vase is from at home so is that candle this candle i got at a local shop but you could find similar ones from etsy so cute i love it and then down here i decided to flip the books around because i didn't love the look of all of the different colors it just made it look too cluttered so did that i have this candle from home goods which i'm so freaking pissed i don't know why they would put the sticker right on the front and not just underneath like there's one on top too like first of all why does there need to be two stickers and why put them in visible places this little tray i want to say is from urban outfitters i've had it for a really long time but I just keep my extra camera batteries and SD cards in there. Those are some more books. That vase is also from At Home. This frame I just got from Home Goods. I still need to put a photo in it. And then that candle is from the same local shop where I got the other one. And then I have my Wi-Fi stuff down there. And then over here I put that lamp that's from Home Goods. This is my essential oil diffuser, which I originally had over here, but I think this is better that way it's also like out of reach for my dog so yeah i still might move a couple of little things around maybe add some new things but i think for now i'm pretty happy with 
this general layout and how everything is looking. And I definitely like having that lamp there because I feel like, especially with the TV, there's a lot of black happening over here. So I feel like the plant with the white pot and the little wood bowl and then the white and the wood on this side, like I, I like that. I like the balance. I feel like it brings a little life to this. It breaks up some of the black a little bit. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this is looking. I do feel like something is missing over here. I feel like I need a taller piece to just go right there. Like maybe some kind of faux plant, some dried leaves. I don't know, something neutral. But I just feel like, I don't know, something is missing there. So that's what this side of the room looks like. And then this side is where the couch is going to go. And the couch I'm getting is a fabric cream colored couch. So I was trying to figure out what artwork I want to put on this wall here because it's a pretty big wall and the front door to the apartment is here. So as soon as you walk in, that wall is really the first thing that you see. And I was thinking like some big, bold pieces of artwork would look really cool, especially because the rest of this room I feel like is just very neutral so i was measuring it out the other night i didn't like completely tape it out because i didn't want to waste tape i just wanted to get like a general idea of how high up they would be and how wide it would be but i think i really like the look of that i feel like that fills the wall up really nicely so i was gonna just do three prints side by side so i was trying to figure out what artwork i wanted to put up there and what would be the most cost effective thing to do because getting large art can be very expensive and when I eventually move into a house that I own that I know I'm gonna live in for a long time and I really am like established in my design style and all that then I will invest in you know more expensive art but I feel like in here this apartment I wanted to do whatever was gonna be the cheapest but still look nice I was looking on Etsy and there's a lot of sellers on there that have digital prints that you can download and then print them out yourself or you know have them printed at Walgreens or something like that and it's really inexpensive it's like $15 and under and then you can just get your own frames so there was a couple prints I was looking at this one I think is the one that I'm gonna do I really like this one there was also this coastal one because I do live by the beach and then there was this other one my thought process is because there's so much black on this side of the room especially with the tv this side of the room is all like lights and neutrals because like i said my couch is going to be cream there's nothing dark on this side of the room and i feel like it's pretty unbalanced so i wanted to get artwork that has a lot of black in it so that it would balance out the room and like tie in the dark from this side so i wanted to do black frames with a lot of black in the prints and that way too if i do black and white it won't ever clash with my decor so if i want to like add in some pops of color i can just swap out like my throw pillows my throw blanket the rug when i decorate for the holidays and stuff i don't have to worry about it like just being too much i don't i don't know like i do love color but i just feel like in this space i don't know i've been feeling the more like neutral airy kind of vibes i also ordered a rug from wayfair i have carpet so i technically don't need a rug but i added a rug in my bedroom on top of the carpet and once i put this it completed the room like it by the way don't mind how messy this is but it just didn't really feel finished until i added that rug and i feel like it just makes the room look more designed so i definitely want a rug in here and i feel like that one from wayfair I'm hoping I will like because it has some color to make the room feel like a little bit cozier but the colors are a little bit muted so it's not going to be like too obnoxious and in your face I just like my goal with this room is like I said I like the neutrals I like it to feel open and airy but I also don't want it to feel staged like I want it to feel like a cozy home that somebody actually lives in and then I also purchased another print that I want to put in the bedroom because I have these two pieces from Target that are pretty old. I got these like two apartments ago, but I don't love them in this room and I don't love them in that spot. I feel like they just look really small there. Those frames that are above the bed currently, I wanna put in the bathroom right here on this wall. So I feel like this wall is very blank and it kind of needs something there, especially since my towels are white. It's just all, it's a lot of white space. 
This is perfect timing. The rug just got here. All right, let's open this up. I really, really hope that I like it because I don't want to have to deal with like sending it back and all that. I like it. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. Cause like I said, it adds some color and it makes the room cozy, but the colors are muted. So it's not like too over the top, but I definitely, I, I need to wait for the couch to come so I can really get the full picture and then decide what I wanna put on the walls. I really was not expecting that to come today because I think the expected delivery date was like sometime between Saturday and Monday. So that was a nice surprise. We officially have a couch and suddenly this room feels so much smaller than it did. This lighting really isn't doing it justice, so I will show you guys tomorrow in natural lighting, but the material of it literally just feels like a blanket. The whole thing, it's like, it's so deep and just huge and cozy and I had to get a light color because I have a white dog that sheds a lot. And I was considering getting a leather or like faux leather couch, but this was just so comfy, I couldn't pass it up. And I got it for a really good deal. Anyway, these are the pillows that came with it. I don't hate them actually. They don't really go with the rest of the room. Plus I have some cream ones over there. So I'm gonna swap the pillows out. This is how it looks with the rug and the coffee table. Now the only problem is, it might be able to fit there actually. I have this chair that I love so much, but I don't know. I'm gonna try to see if it'll fit there. Excuse me, Benny. Excuse me. Oh shit, actually that's a perfect fit. It maybe looks a little bit cluttered because it's kind of a tight fit, but it works because that side of the door doesn't open just this side does, so it wouldn't be blocking the door to the balcony at all. Okay, or do we like the chair over here better? It's not really blocking anything on here other than like my Wi-Fi, which I'm fine with that being kind of covered, but does that look like it's just kind of randomly placed there? Should I turn it a little bit? Cause then it's like facing the couch and it kind of just makes a little bit more sense like if people were all sitting, we'd all be facing each other talking. Comment down below and let me know. Should I put the chair back over there or should I leave it on this side? And if I should put it on this side, should I just have it straight flat against the wall or should I have it angled out a little bit more like this? You guys, Nespresso makes a carafe size pod, carafe pour over style. It makes two to three cups of coffee. So I made some of that this morning, but I wanted to show you the couch in the daylight now. On the camera, it's almost kind of coming off like a gray color, but it's a cream and then it just has like a little bit of a taupey color running through it. So depending on how you look at it, it can look more cream, more tan, a little bit gray. I don't know how I feel about the rug. I feel like it just looks very blue and pink to me, which is not really my vibe, but I don't know. And I do like the chair over there. I actually was playing around last night after I stopped vlogging and I moved that basket over here. I should have got a clip of it, but I put the basket over here and then I moved the bookshelf over closer to the dresser and then I put the chair in the corner closer to the wall and I did not like how that looked at all. I like this way, way better. It just looked off. Like I feel like that needs to be in the corner because having it just like randomly in the middle of the wall it just didn't look right. I mean, I'm curious to see what you guys think, but I'm like 99.9% .9 positive this is my favorite arrangement. Okay, so I'm being super annoying, but I've just been sitting here staring at this rug like a freak, and ugh, I really, I just, it's not, it just looks very pink and blue to me. I was looking on Amazon, and what's so cool is 
they have this see it in your room feature so you literally can like place the rug isn't this crazy so i'm looking at this other one that has some warmer colors and i think that i like the way that looks better and they have free returns so i ordered this one i'm gonna wait for this one to arrive make sure that i actually do like it even when you look at a rug in person at a store you just don't know how it's going to actually look in your space in the lighting in the room you're putting it in and also next to the furniture that you have come on you gotta stay here good boy you stay here and i'll be back very soon okay i'm about to head out the door to do some shopping. I really, really desperately need groceries and a few like household things. And I'm gonna see about getting the frame that I want for the bedroom above my bed. The frames in the living room, I think I'm gonna wait on because what I'm learning is I am always in such a rush to get a space decorated and finished. And I try to do like multiple things at once and then I always end up feeling like it's not right or there's something that just doesn't work. So I'm trying to like hit the brakes, take it slow. I'm gonna wait for that second rug to come in, decide which one I wanna keep, which I like better. And then from there, I'm going to decide what I'm gonna do for the artwork on that wall. But I definitely do wanna get the frame for the bedroom and I'm gonna wait to get the artwork printed for it because I wanna make sure that they have the frame that I actually want in stock and I want to be able to like see it in person first. And down all those stairs later I'm very out of breath all right so things that I needed that aren't super exciting more laundry detergent had a coupon for that so that was exciting fabric softener and then I saw this picture frame which I love I just love natural wood and this I am thinking about putting on the bookshelf. You'll see, I wanna swap something out. And then I saw these, what are, what are these called? Oh, it just says grass stem. <laughs> but how beautiful and like whimsical. So I was thinking this I could put on the dresser behind that lamp. And then I got another um, Real Techniques makeup sponge because somebody, chewed mine up yesterday and then i got this basket to put in my closet because i have a few things that are just laying around that i don't have like storage to put them in i also got this storage bin and then this was the frame that i got again the natural wood finish beautiful i like this way better than the two smaller frames so imagine that right here. I think that's the perfect size, the color of the frame. I mean, it's not the exact same color wood, but very similar to my dresser. But I wanted to make sure that I was gonna like it up there and it was gonna look right size-wise and everything before I get the print, because I can always return the frame, but once I pay for the print, I can't return that, you know? So here's the stuff I was talking about that needs to be put away in the closet. I just have a couple winter accessories and some extra purses. I'm thinking of putting the purses 
in this bin and then the winter stuff in this and then I also have some hats oh now that I'm looking at it, I'm like where am I gonna put that bin though because the plastic bin I was gonna put under here but I don't know where that's gonna fit actually okay I think I know what I'm gonna do I have my air mattress up there and an extra comforter and sheet there I'm gonna put these in the storage closet outside off of my balcony and then that way this will free up some space there and then I can put that bin there where the blanket is. Perfect fit. I got hats, scarves, stuff like that in here fits perfectly there was actually still room for the air mattress so that will stay there tucked the basket back there in that corner since that's not really stuff that I grab for on a regular basis obviously and it's more seasonal and then that bin fit perfectly under there I mean it's not like the most aesthetic perfectly organized looking closet you know but it works for now all I care about is that my stuff is put away and at least it's organized. Now for the decorating pieces. I was going to buy a vase in Target and then I remembered that I had an extra one of these, which is actually perfect because it has like the narrow spout up top. So I don't have to worry about these like tipping over. I do have to cut them down a little bit. How freaking cute and perfect. I got this in a set from Amazon and I keep my dish soap in here and this one I wasn't using so perfect. Now I don't have to buy anything extra. That looks so nice. Beautiful. Now I'm thinking of swapping out those fake candles up there with this frame and then I'm thinking of putting the fake candles up there on top of the cabinets where I have that like blank space right there I don't know how I'm gonna like that if they're gonna be tall enough but we're gonna play around and see how it looks yeah I think I like that better than the candles. I still obviously have to figure out what photo I wanna put in there. So now I'm gonna see how these look up there. I feel like something taller would probably look better, but I mean, that works for now. At least it just fills in that gap so it doesn't look as bare. They did have like a taller vase at Target that I thought would be cute up there, but it was like $30. I don't feel like it's necessary. If I'm ever at a thrift store or something and I come across something that's like really cheap that I think would work up there, then I'll probably get it. But for now, that works. I'm not gonna like spend a lot of time fussing over it and making that like a main priority. I'm just glad that there's something up there and it fills it a little bit. Oh, but I really love this a lot. It's so cute and I love that bottle for it as a vase. So cute. Hello, it's a few days later and the rug that I ordered from Amazon just arrived. So let's see how this one looks and if I like this any better than the rug I currently have. So here's what the second rug looks like compared to that one. I do like this rug, but I just, I don't know. I just don't like how it looks next to the color of the couch. Like I said earlier, it just looks very pink and blue. I like more earthy tones, I guess. Yeah, I definitely like this one better. On camera, it just looks very like cream and brown, but in real life, can you see that? There's like a little bit of gold kind of running through there. Looking at it through the viewfinder, it does not look the same as it does in person. In person, I like the way it looks a lot better, but I like the way the couch color looks next to this better than next to this. 
I don't know if it's gonna translate the same way on camera. So that's how the rug looks. I got the frames for the artwork above the couch. So I'm just waiting for the prints to arrive. And then I got a print for this frame up here that I downloaded from Etsy. And then I printed out this photo of me and Benny when he was a puppy. This is one of my favorite pictures. He just looks so funny in it. So the prints for this wall, I ended up going with the banana leaves that I found on Etsy. I was going to get them printed out at Walgreens. They were gonna be around $15 each to get printed there. But my mom actually has large size printers that can print out huge prints like that at her job so she was able to do it for me for free which is amazing but she's obviously all the way in pennsylvania so she sent those in the mail a couple days ago and then she also printed out that pompous grass photo that's going to go in the bedroom so i'm just waiting for those to arrive and then i'm just going to put them in the frames hang them up then everything will be done finally got the prints I'm really hoping that it came out good and that I like how it looks because uh, if you couldn't tell by now, <laughs> I'm kind of indecisive. So I think I mentioned this, but my mom printed these out for me. I got the prints off of Etsy and then I emailed them to her. She was able to print them out for me at her job so that I didn't have to actually pay to get them printed. Just paid for the shipping, which was a lot cheaper. Um, I think she said it was like around $10 or a little bit under that to ship all of these prints. Whereas if I had got them printed at Walgreens, it would have been around $15 per print. So because I had four of them, obviously it was just way cheaper to have my mom do them. I just had to wait a little bit longer. Ooh, it looks so good. My mom made me a little nervous because she was like, oh, it looks kind of dark. But this is exactly how it looked on my phone. So it's perfect. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And then here is the pompous grass one. product I love it I feel like it just fills up that wall perfectly without being too much and honestly I didn't do the best job of measuring so they're probably not like a hundred percent perfectly straight or spaced out but from the naked eye just looking at it in person it looks fine I was a little worried because I was like oh, I don't know if these frames like look too cheap but now that the prints are in there, I think it actually looks like really expensive. Bitch. They fit perfectly up there. It's funny how above the bed, they looked so small. And now on this wall, they look so much bigger. But I love how this looks. They fit perfectly on that wall and it just adds a little something now so that it's not so white and bland in here. And apparently I didn't hit record when I was putting this up, but here's how that print looks on that wall. But I do like how this looks better than the two frames. And I was thinking like, yeah, I could do kind of what I did in the living room and do two or three really big vertical frames but then i feel like it would just look too similar to the living room and honestly when i'm looking at it through the viewfinder on my camera it looks way smaller than when i'm looking at it in real life like in person it does not look too small at all it actually 
looks perfect but when I look at on the camera I'm like oh that looks really small but I love the colors of it it works so well with the rest of the colors in this room very excited so here's the aftermath of everything so I definitely need to clean all of this up I'm going to do a full official furnished apartment tour now that everything is done, I'm going to show you guys all of the details in here, tell you where everything's from, link as many things as possible in that video. So stay tuned. I'm so excited that it's finally done. Today is February 3rd. So in a couple of days, it's going to be officially two months since I have been living in this apartment, which is crazy. In some ways, it feels like I just got here. In other ways, it feels like I've been here much longer than that. But I'm so glad that finally now, two months later, everything is finished it is completely decorated completely furnished and i'm so excited to film my apartment tour video so stay tuned for that that should be one of my next few videos thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this and maybe got some ideas for decorating your own space if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video bye